Hey YouTubers, test just one here. Well, just come back from the post office. It's amazing, you know, to set up a figurine from here, from Australia to the US, uh, straight out. There's a nine dollar security co fee cost. Nine dollars. That's straight out. That's what it before you even um, ask how much the postage is. Unbelievable. Nine dollars for each package that you sent. Bloody making a killing out of that. I'm real. I couldn't believe it. And my pa package was thirty something something dollars. So thirty nine dollars to send something to half the size of what Hot Toys would send. Bloody bullshit. Really pissed off about that. But anyway, can't do much about it. Anyway, just wanted to uh, say that. What do you think of that? Uh, that's my werewolf's fur. See, it's got the um, bl like the blondish tips on the end of it. So that's what my werewolf's. That's the colour of my werewolf's. Um, what the coat's going to look like. So you can imagine it. I've got him semi painted. Okay. Still got to do his um, his shading and get him. Let's adjust that camera. It's a bit too high. Yeah, it's uh, shading, and uh, then I'll start. I reckon by this weekend the uh, werewolf will be finished. Yeah, so I'm wrapped about that. Okay, no worries, that's good. All going good. Okay, <clears throat> my Mike Tyson. My Mike Tyson, well, I did tell a little bit of a fib. Um, it was, I didn't, I didn't have an exclusive, it was a, I just, just having a bit of a joke with a couple of uh, fellow collectors out there, and um, I just hope no one took it serious, but my, my joke was <clears throat> that uh, I had the Mike Tyson with an exclusive 1997, um, head with the Holyfield see if we can get that in there again here so was a little bit of a fib I was just having a play and uh, can't get it in there now here we go That is all my doing and completely it was a customize that I did there is no exclusive Holyfield ear Mike Tyson 1997 head that came with this figurine so please don't go asking some sellers if you have the uh, exclusive edition I don't think there'd be many out there that uh, would be available to buy now anyway because it's only made to uh, I think it was 200 I got number 55 anyway yeah so I did the year I made the year and painted it up and this head was floating around on eBay it was the Mike Tyson head that looked like this with a tattoo on the face and I there we go what I'd done is I putty this side of the face up with some putty and uh, covered the tattoo on the engraving of the tattoo because it was sort of like etched into the skin and did a repaint on the whole head uh, carved out some hair on his head well I'll put some putty on there and with these heads even once, once they're painted you can still put them in the oven on 135 Celsius um, and it does melt the head so you leave it in there for about eight minutes it does the job and it dries the, the putty on the head and then you do a repaint on it so it come up pretty 
pretty close to the actual original Mike Tyson. This is a copy of the original Mike Tyson that came out, the uh, early Mike Tyson. And I tried it, just basically sort of copied that, uh, made his hair a little bit bigger on top, and yep, yeah, went over his tooth a bit and made it a bit more golder. And uh, did a complete repaint and sprayed the back, and yeah, come up not too bad, but there's no guts inside there. That was just balancing on, on, on um, his body. It still needs a little bit more work, a bit more carving out to actually fit it properly onto his head. Not much, just a touch, but when you get this head, I'm not too sure where the pegs are and all that. I'll go get them. This, this head is not a, a fit for the Mike Tyson body, so don't go buying this um, head, the one with the bald head and the tattoos that you see on eBay. That is completely different uh, mould than what you see uh, with these guys, the pegs in them. We'll see if I can get there, find the neck with uh, with the peg. Just no, I don't no. seem to have one. Anyway, the uh, it's the the very thin pointed um, peg that uh, the head was designed for. The very narrow, skinny type point, almost like a bar or pencil shape point to it. Uh, that's the that was suited. That neck point was a uh, neck joint was suited to this head. So I ended up carving all the bottom half of the Tyson head to fit it on Tyson and I'll probably put some poly clay in it uh, I'll probably put some poly clay into it and then mold it around the actual Mike Tyson peg here and then put it in the oven and and uh, set it probably uh, permanently put the peg in so the peg doesn't come out and then attach it to Mike Tyson's here um, body but yeah I like the hair I like how it's turned out um, the co the color tones slightly differ but not a hell of a lot so I'm really happy eventually these will, will go into circuit on eBay eventually I reckon and just give it time you know if it's a Tyson head or out there already with a tattoo on it it won't be long to the Mike Tyson head will come out because people will copy him of the Storm to Toys um, first edition and circulate them so they'll just give it time and they'll be out so I'm not making any more of these let's put it that way <laughs> okay oh absolutely spell bounded by this massive stand absolutely ginormous I was bidding for this baby on eBay thought no way I'm not gonna get it it's gonna be about 30 40 bucks you know easy you know and there's heaps of people gonna swoop on it because bloody hell it's it's huge love it um, no one hardly bid it for it I think it was I got it for $15.50 posted absolutely cheap as I could not believe it so that's going to be for my new, I've got another, an original a Predator coming. So uh, I will be mixing and matching the parts that I'm not happy with, with the one that I've got now. Um, this guy here. I'll be mixing, matching some parts on him. For instance, that pouch that I wasn't, quite sure about the other one I'm getting has the pouch in its original spot so this belt will be coming off and um, or staying on what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do okay what I'm gonna do with the other predator because it's identical to this one and I don't want to have two that are identical I just don't I'm gonna mix and match the parts with to make a an original uh, predator that is complete um, got the extra hand on the other one that's coming through so I'm happy with that I've got that missing hand that's cool it's all sorted out bought an extra two of the uh, classic predators hands also I'll add on to the more original and whatever's left over I'm gonna customize one 
I'm going to customize a Predator. I haven't seen many of them around. I don't think anyone's game enough to paint a Predator. But I want to do one. So I'm, I just don't know what I'm going to do. So once my werewolf's done and out the way, and I've, I think I'd better finish off um, Austin, Steve Austin. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin because uh, you know I did say I was going to get him done and I've pretty much got all the parts there ready to go so it's just there's not much to him so I'm going to paint his head up and um, just finish him and get that leg brace thing happening on his find out where he went what pants he wore and get some pants and finish that and then I'll do the I'll probably do the Predator use subscribers that comment into me um, and um, I think I've got up to 43 or 44 subscribers now, something like that. Give me some ideas, throw some ideas at me. Um, one of my mate from here said, do an albino, do an albino predator. Make him albino, make him into sort of like a whitish um, looking, like a reject from the uh, society, a, a lone uh, predator that's basically maybe a good predator. You know, he doesn't always have to. They don't always have to be bad. They can be good predators as well. Uh, maybe ragged him out. Maybe a cloak. Um, maybe add some stuff onto him. Maybe change. Yeah, I can do a repaint on this complete body. That's no problem. And make him bigger. I can enhance his muscles. I make his chest bigger and something similar to samurai, the samurai one that they they come up with. Um, only thing I can't really. I can probably paint the hair, but I won't remove the hair, I won't change the hair, so the hair stays the same. Um, yeah, just, I, I know uh, Moggy likes to go out there and smash a few customs, he might have some ideas, or any of you guys out there, or my subbies, um, yeah, give me, throw something at me, just to, and I'll have, I'll have a look at it, you know, if you, give me some colours, uh, ideas, what to wear, what what I'm going to put on him, you know, something like that, you just, yeah, just, it could be any era, it could be uh, back in the 1600s where he's stuck there and wearing different gear or, you know, it could be a bit more barbarian looking or he doesn't have to have the, the metal plates and stuff on, uh, so, yeah, I'm game, if you're game, just uh, let me know if, some of you might say, "Don't touch it, just don't touch it," and that and I'll, you know, I'll uh, uh, review that as well. You know, but that's that's fine. If you, some of you guys said, "Don't don't want me to touch it," I won't. I'll have a look at that, I'm not touching it. But if you guys got some some ideas, that'd be cool. I'm looking forward to uh, having some. Let's be inventive. Let's be inventive. Let's just not collect figurines. Let's make them as well and make good ones. That's what I want to do. So I've got the figure, I've got another body there with some broken bits and pieces, so the value is not there anyway. Um, yeah, do a repaint on him, make him special. You know, it could be the, the rags hanging off him, or it could be kitted out in some really good gear, you know, that you can buy and kit him out with. So that's my, another one of my projects after the Steve Austin. Okay, and here we'll probably be going on. I think my my good predator will be going on this one, and my custom predator will be going on the original stand. I don't know, or vice versa. Put the uh, custom one on this one. I just really like this um, stand. It's just amazing. I can't believe we got for fifteen bucks. And the two sets of hands got them for six six dollars fifty posted. Six dollars fifty. That's the one with a pointer. Where he's pointing. And he, you know, I think he's touching the buttons on his wristband, uh, digital wristband. Uh, and the other one's sort of like a sort of not close, not an open fingered hand. It's more of a closed sort of semi relaxed hand. So those two together, I want to match them to the classic hands to see how close the paint job is to them, and you know if they're going to have to alter the, the color of the hands. So yeah, it's all all good. And um, so all those people that I played a practical joke too. Uh, please don't get too upset with me, it was only in fun. Um, yeah, so, uh, 
Yeah, I enjoyed doing that too. That was a funny joke. Anyway, MRA, I think he got a, a good laugh out of it. Eh? So, yeah. I thought I'd better come out and tell the truth and let say so some people didn't go thinking that they they got shortchanged with their collectors. Okay, so that's about it, guys. My next video will probably be on Saturday, Sunday, Saturday. Uh, so the werewolf gonna be good. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to finishing that baby. Okay, guys, test test one out. Catch ya.